Hey, our friends, we're going to draw Robin from Teen Titans Go. Titans Go! All right, Shuckers, you got your marker? Yeah. We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. We're going to draw with a Sharpie, but you guys can draw with anything you want. You don't have to use a Sharpie if you don't want to. And if we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you can always pause the video if we go too fast. You ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're going to start with his nose. We're going to draw his whole body. So we're going to draw with a paper vertical. Uh, yes, vertical. All right. Okay, we're going to start with his nose. And we want to leave some room for his hair because he's got some crazy hair. So we're going to come down a little bit. And we're just going to draw a little sideways V. <laughs> he's got a little nose, right? Good job. Okay, now, good. Now we're going to come up just a little bit. We'll put a little point right there, and that's where we're going to start his eyes, and we're going to draw a V, and it's kind of curved. So we're going to draw one line. It's kind of curved, curved diagonally up to the right, and we're going to draw another line diagonally curved off to the left. Does that look like Robin? Uh, kind of. Oh, we need to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to draw a big U that comes down and around. We're drawing his mask that goes over his eyes. So we're going to draw a big U that comes around and it comes into his nose. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do it on the, same, on the other side, but the same thing. Curved line comes around and into his nose. Mine's kind of squished. Oh, yeah, that eye is a little squished. He might be winking. <laughs> okay, let's draw the inside of his eyes. We're going to draw a line that goes along with the same line we first drew. Good. And then we're going to do the same thing for the bottom part. Big U that goes around and connects to the beginning of that line. Good. Now let's do the same thing on this side. Line that goes up. Good, and then a line that goes around, makes the U and connects to his nose. Then we can kind of go through and connect to the beginning of the line. Good job, dude. Now let's color in the outside. Good, man. Okay, now let's start his face. We're going to draw the side of his cheek and down to his jaw, but we're going to start above his left eye. We're going to put a little point there, but that's where, we're, that's where we're going to start. We're going to curl around, come close to his eye, and then down where his chin is. Actually, let's draw a smile first. Okay. It's right here under his nose, and it's kind of small, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Good. Okay, now let's draw this cheek line. So we're going to start up here and curve down. We're going to come really close to his mask, okay? And we'll keep okay. coming down past his eye. Good. Then we're going to start curving, and we're, his chin is going to be right here under his mouth, right under his mouth. And we're going to curve down. Good, keep going. Okay, now we're gonna do his jawline and it's gonna come over here and stop under, just past his right eye. So here we go. Draw back and then kind of curve right at the end of his, his right eye. So just kind of right in line with it. Good, okay, now let's come up here and we'll do his hairline. So we've got a little V that's going to be right above, curved V, upside down V, right above his nose. So here we go, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to extend this line just a little further, and then I'm going to curve down to that upside down V. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to curve, we're going to do a rainbow line that goes over his right eye. OK, 
good. And then we're going to zigzag back up and then curve along his mask. Good. Now let's draw his ear. So we're going to do another rainbow line. It's kind of a smaller one though. Got it? Yeah. Good. Okay. And then we're going to come back down and then up. Almost like a check mark. And then we can connect his jaw into his ear right there. Awesome. Okay, now let's finish his hair. He's looking really good, huh? Mm -hmm. He looks cool. Okay, we're going to start over here back where his, his left eye is. Come up and he's going to do crazy hair, right? Mm -hmm. so we're going to do that line that goes over the top, top of his head. Good, and then we'll zigzag back, and then do another curve line, and then zigzag back, and then this one kind of goes out far, but has a bend in it. Good job, okay, and then we'll come back just over his ear. Awesome, and then we'll zigzag back again, and then come into the side of his ear. Awesome, okay, we could color that in, but we're gonna use oil pastels, I think, and it'll be a lot easier to color that in. So one thing I can do, and we can all do if we want, if you wanna redraw some of these lines, you can. So I want that, this piece of hair to come up a little higher. And I don't know if you need to. You, I think you did yours perfect. And then this one, I'm going to extend out just a little bit more. That, and then come back like that. And then I'm going to color that in. So this line will just disappear. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. So let's do his ear on this side. And it's just a little uh, C line. It's behind his head, so we're using overlapping, right? Mm -hmm. so it looks 3D. Okay, and then let's do two lines for his neck. Burp, burp. Nice. Okay, and then let's do his uh, the beginning of his cape. So we'll do two lines that come out from his neck, and then we're gonna do a V or more like a check mark because the point is off to the left. Okay. Good. Okay. Now let's do his chest, and that's gonna come out. We're gonna come down slightly from the side of his cape. And then we'll come down into his waist. So that's the front of his chest. And then let's come over here and we're going to do his first arm. So we're going to do a rainbow line or an upside down U. And then connect the bottom. Good. And then let's do two lines for his arm coming out of his sleeve. And then we'll come back and finish his glove in just a second, okay? So let's do the back or this, his side of his chest. Curve line that comes out of his sleeve. Good. And then right between these two lines, we're going to do a circle. And this is for his belt. Good. And then we can do a rectangle that connects to his chest. Good. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, and then we can do another rectangle over here, but don't connect it to the circle. Leave a little gap there. And then we'll do two lines that are smaller in between that. Good, you already did it. Then we can do one line down on his belt here, and then another line down on the other side of his belt. Good. Okay, now let's do the design on his chest. So we just got a little kind of square U. And then a rectangle just below that one. Okay, and then he's got a badge on his chest. And there's a letter in it. What's R. the letter? An R. What's it for? Robin. Yeah. Okay, so we can draw. It's kind of an oval shape. And it's going to be kind of hard to get it, get it drawn in there. But we'll try because our Sharpies are a little hard. So we do a little, we'll color in that 
the left side and then do a little sideways V. Got it? And then we can do a little upside down V inside of the R and then we'll put a little dot right there. Got it, good job man, you did it. Okay, now let's do his other arm. So right here where we came in just a little bit, we'll curve down for his sleeve. And then we'll connect it to his chest. Good, and then we're gonna do two lines like we did over here for his other arm. Good. Okay, now let's do let's do the glove over here. His so we're gonna draw a, a curved line that connects the two arm lines, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna draw two more lines that come in towards each other for his wrist. Good. Now let's draw his thumb. And then we'll draw his first finger. And these are all kind of the same shape. They're a little squared off on the ends. And then we'll draw another finger. Another one. And one more into his wrist. Perfect, man. Okay, now let's do his, his uh, glove on this side. So we'll do the same thing, connect his arm line. And we'll do two lines that come close together for his wrist. So this side's gonna be a little different because we're looking at his hand at a different angle. So we'll come down and do the first finger. Good, and then we're gonna come back out for his thumb. And then we'll put a, a small little curve for this part of his thumb. Nice. Okay, now let's keep doing his fingers. So we'll do another finger next to it. Kind of a backwards L shape. And we'll do another one. And then we'll do, this one is gonna have another bump in it for this side of his hand. Perfect, you did it. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna do his legs next. We're gonna come straight down, and this is coming down to his knee, so we don't wanna to go too far. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, and then we'll come back up here and we'll do a short little line horizontal. And then we're gonna draw this line coming close to his knee. And then we'll do the same on this side. Perfect. Hey, now let's, this, the bottom part of his legs go out and he has really big feet. And so we're gonna come back out this way. Good, and then this side is gonna come down further than this side. And that's because he's got his foot right here. Good, now let's do the same on the side. This line's gonna come down to the same distance. And then we'll draw the outside of this leg. And this can be the same distance as this one. Good. Okay, all right. We're almost done, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's draw his toes next or the front of his foot. So we're gonna extend out past his leg. We're gonna come down and then this line is gonna come down and meet the same distance as that other, the other, the inside of his leg. Good, okay, and we'll do the same on this side. We'll extend out past it and come down. Good job, and then we'll draw the front of his foot. And we're gonna stop a little early, okay? We're not gonna go down and meet this one. So it's a little higher, okay? And then we'll come back here, and we're gonna curl up to that line. Good, and then go a little further. And then we'll come down. Good, and then we'll connect the bottom. To the bottom of his boot. 
Good job. Okay, we'll come back up here and he's got a little line right here in the bottom. So right here is black. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We'll come down a little bit for his toe. Okay, and then we'll curl up. We'll start just a little higher here and then curl up. Yes. And then come back down and we'll, oh, let's come over here, extend out just a little bit. And then good. And then we'll bring another line down and then connect it at the bottom of this foot. Good job. Now let's put that other contour line up here at the top. Okay, we were missing one thing. What are we missing? His cape. Yes. Okay, so we're going to extend a line just down from his hand right here. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on this side. A little line that comes down. Okay, and then we're going to connect these two lines, but we want to draw it so that the cape looks like it's behind his legs. Awesome, man. Give me five. You did it. Okay, we have to color them. Should okay. we get our colors ready? Yeah. Okay, checkers. We got yellow. We got this color, which is called salmon pink. If our art friends have the same one at home, they can use that one. If not, you can just kind of use a peach color. That's going to be for his skin. And then red, green, a light gray, and black. We're going to do a bunch of coloring, and we're going to fast forward the whole thing because there's no special shading that we're going to do. It's just solid colors. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. Good job, checkers. Now, the last color that we used was this brown or kind of a gold color, huh? We forgot to mention this. It's for the inside of his cape. And our art friends can pause the video right now and look at what we did and match how we colored our drawing on their drawing. Cool? Mm -hmm. You did a really good job, dude. Give me five. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Robin with us, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends. You did a really good job, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm super proud of that drawing. Okay. What?